Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome back to Man vs. Film. Sometimes you go to the cinema to escape from your current life or to see something grandiose or to see something wonderful. Sometimes you go because it's just a habit. You go to the cinema, it's my favourite place to go, it's the place where I can just shut out everything else and hopefully enjoy a big screen entertainment. Then there's some times where you are dragged along to see a movie that you not really have much interest in, which is case in point, Power Rangers. Don't really have much of a history with Power Rangers. I never watched the TV show. I kind of knew about it, but I wasn't really interested in it. So the fact that I make a big screen adaptation meant pretty much nothing to me. When they were saying certain things about it or there was news bites, I didn't really care because, well, I had zero interest, which is the way I went into this movie. Now, the basic movie is about this battle that's been lasting a lifetime between these Power Rangers, Rita Repulsa, and it starts off 65 million years ago, and the Rangers are getting beat by Rita, and they call in a meteor to sort of wipe her out and the dinosaurs and kickstart humanity as well. And then we jump forward to present day, where these five kids who are all kind of troubled, all kind of struggling to find their way in life, come together quite by accident and somehow end up with these little discs, these little coins that are all colour-coded. And pretty soon they find out that they have been chosen as the next Power Rangers to defeat Rita Repulsa and save the world. What this movie does do is it does have its tongue firmly in its cheek and it does have some stylized action scenes. And overall, I found myself kind of enjoying this movie. The movie opens with this scene, eh, a car chase, where the camera is placed in the centre of the vehicle and is constantly doing 360s and it's unique, it's interesting and it gives you a insight as to what some of the things that they're going to try and do later on in the movie and I found the movie to be very visually interesting and it kept me on my toes and I was always watching for these little nuanced scenes or the way the camera would move to highlight some of the action. Now the five main actors who all play the Power Rangers are all fine, none of them are outstanding, none of them are really terrible, they're just kind of doing what they need to do. And you've got Brian Cranston as Zardoz, the kind of guy that's teaching them all how to be the Power Rangers that they need to be. And there's a little robot person behind him, and then you've got Rita Repulsa as well, who's... They're all fine. Nobody does fantastic. But you know what? None of them are terrible either. The movie's laced with this kind of humour and callbacks to other scenes that I found really enjoyable. I found a lot of the humour to be really reflective of the scene, really light-hearted, just breaking up some of the scenes as they went along. There's a huge big action scene at the end, you've got the Power Rangers sort of learning what to do, but this is more of an origin story. It kind of shows them becoming the Power Rangers before it kicks on to this big action scene at the end, which was actually really enjoyable and I liked it. Now the movie does have problems, it does have some corny storylines, it does have some typically schmaltzy scenes, I'm thinking particularly of the, the five rangers round about the fireplace, all sharing their problems, because that's the way to get to know each other. Um, or so they say, you know, the best way to get to know me is to hear my worst problem that I have. Now I find the middle of the movie is probably the, the, the little bit slowest of the movie, it lags a tiny bit. Um, I don't know how it's going to play on rewatch, could find that this a real slog. But then we get to the finale, and you have Ruta Repulsor, you have Goldar, this big giant gold monster thing who's going to dig to the centre of the earth. You've got the Power Rangers in their machines trying to fight this thing. There's lots going on, there's no shaky cam, you can see what's happening. It's interesting action, it's colourful, it's bright, and I had a lot of fun with it. Which is the best thing I can say about this movie. I gave it a 3 out of 5. It was above average. It was pretty good. If there was a sequel, I would actually be interested in going to see it. I'm looking forward to it if there is going to be such a thing. I had a lot of fun with Power Rangers. I didn't expect to. I liked the core group of the five Rangers. I liked the colourful nature of it. I liked the way they interacted with each other. I even liked Rita Repulsa as the baddie. I especially liked Goldar and the final fight sequence. Have you seen Power Rangers? Did you like it? What did you think about it? What really jumped out at you as being terrific? What really showed has not been that great at all. Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man vs Film.